Hello, guys. Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, apparently we lost the guinea last night. Hi, Sadie. My best guess is an owl because they sleep up in that limb on that tree right there. My guess is it just flew across, grabbed it, pulled it over here, and just kind of was dragging it. That's the second bird we've lost in two days. It's a guinea. Excuse me, guinea. Excuse me, guinea. I have a question. Did you lose a friend? Well, that's a male and a female, at least it looks like. So male and female. So we have two, and hopefully somebody has a nest back in those woods, or in the bramble over there. At least those are, that's my hope. I don't know what's going on here. I come out every day and this is flipped over. What's your problem? Oh my goodness. Get off, get off. Right. So we need to fill this up for sure. So this is what we're dealing with here, is this uneven brown and having to pull it on the uneven brown. But, Seems that this spot is no better. So we may need to pull this a little bit more. How about water? Okay, they still got a good bit. It's like a dirtier, it's, it's dirtier than normal because we had like three days where it was just wind and thunderstorms every day. I thought that um, during this vlog, I would talk to you guys here you go. Here you go. about uh, our plan, our cattle plan for 2022. Or, wow, time goes by fast. 2023. Don't you mess with that. I will be back. Okay. I gotta fix this again now. So my goal is to next year have two herds of cattle. When I mean herds, I mean have the herd of Anguses, but then having a separate herd of my own cows that I will breed. And that won't be our only herd for a while because I'm going to get a calf to raise up to breed. So for, I forget how long it is before they can breed, but I think it's like a year and a half. So it's gonna be a while. So, while that's happening, we're just gonna have Angus. But I'm also going to be getting a bull calf to breed with and uh, there we go. So the goal is to have two herds of cattle. One will be cat, will be my bull calf and my heifer calf. And then in the future, we'll have a bull, a heifer, and uh, well, I think it'd be just considered a bull and a cow and we'll have calves so that's the goal and but for now we're still gonna have Anguses because for a while we won't have uh, any calves to raise up for slaughter so we're going to continue to get Anguses until we have us uh, maybe two females will breed for now, we're just gonna do one. <coughs> but our goal is also to get milk. So that'd be a very exciting thing. I have wanted to have, I have wanted a milk cow since we started the farm three, four years ago. Three, four years now, I've really wanted a milk cow. But 
now that I've learned a lot more about cows in the last three to four years, just with having these guys and, <clears throat> and the cows before them, I've learned a lot. Go ahead. So I would be really excited to get a milk cow and to know that this is part, this is going to happen sooner rather than later makes me very excited. There they go, they've got food, and now we're gonna go get the hose, we'll pull it down here and get them water. I also saw last night that the chickens need water, so we'll go do that too. So one of the big things I'm working on right now is the front pasture had uh, some uh, metal, like metal wire, cattle wire, metal wire, metal cattle wire. And the problem with that is it's harder for the cattle to see and we've had past cows get out because they just couldn't see it and they would just keep running. And then, you know, they just run into it and then they just go right through it. So we have, so we have this now. So this stuff will be easier for them to see. It's pretty much the same thing that we have down there. So once that's done, we'll have a lot more pasture, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm still trying to work out some of the smaller details with having a second herd, but I think what I want to do is keep them separate. I don't know, maybe we will, maybe we won't, but my goal is to keep them separate, so the bull and the cow. But firstly, we have to, I'm working on it. Give me a few minutes, okay? Firstly, we need to get the calf, and I think we're going to be getting the calf, like the female first. So hopefully that happens this year. So it's August, late August now. So hopefully we can get her by maybe October, November. Because what I didn't want was to have to milk a in the winter for the first time. But then I realized that if we're gonna get a calf that it'll be a while. Yeah, here's our other chicken that we lost. Still not 100% sure on which one it was, but yeah, I came out here yesterday morning. I think when we moved that chicken wire, there was a chicken outside the fencing and just could never get back in. Must have pretty much paced it all night. You guys enjoy your breakfast. I'm gonna go get the water for them. So to get water down here to the chickens, it's quite a process because what we need to do is we first need to go turn on the hose and get those guys watered. And then we'll take it and we'll pull it down here. We'll water the chickens. And then we'll pull it over there and we'll put it in the cow's, well, no, we won't put it in the cow's water because we'll be moving them soon. And we'll fill up the chicken water and just leave it there, leave it there. And then probably tomorrow we'll be moving cows. So there's no need to take it back up. If in the morning we'll move the cows trough and uh, fill their trough and then go water those guys.
they're on a mission for food. You know, there's another bucket all the way up there. You guys should go get some. Crazy pigs. They'll probably find it in an hour. But those poor little Durocs are stuck over there because they don't know how to get over here. Okay, we'll go help them real quick. Here's little pigs. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. There you go. I don't know why they didn't get shocked there, but that's really the least of my concerns. I'm just happy they made it over. Alrighty, I think we're going to stop at the water. Now the chickens should be ready to lay some eggs. They've all, they're all getting some water. And they got their breakfast. Like you can see, they've eaten pretty much all the food. Mr. Norman's coming behind them. I think the other rooster, Mr. Colonel doesn't like him. So <laughs> makes him stay in the coop and like a peasant and wait for everybody else to finish. I feel bad for him, but he's get, it's, it's getting better. this guy, I don't know which leg, but I think he broke one of his legs somehow. Raccoon or something must have reached through and tried to grab him and just grabbed his leg. But I'm not sure which leg, I'm pretty sure it's this one. So it's hard for him to walk on it. Yeah, it's probably this one, I think. He has a hard time walking on it, but he's not the smallest one, which is crazy. And he gets around good, like uh, you'll see. He gets tired easily though because of how much effort it takes him to move. So, uh, I'm so worried. I want to move this water away from the corner, but the problem is I'm gonna, I am gonna—I don't want to squish a bird. So I think all this talk about a new herd and stuff leaves, leaves behind one major question. And that question is, what's going on with pretzel? So, you may remember that um, Pretzel lives up at my aunt's with her horse. I made a whole video talking about her. And we were going to take uh, her to breed, but unfortunately, the horse and the cow and Pretzel have such a connection that Pretzel doesn't want to leave and the horse won't let her whenever we would try and get close to her to put her in a trailer to take her to get bread they would the horse would like herd pretzel away from us it was crazy i forgot to take a camera when that happened though but it it was pretty crazy i've never seen a horse be so connected to a little cow so i think for now we're just gonna keep pretzel where she is and even if we want to breed her she needs to grow a little bit more so we're gonna let her live her life there for at least a little while. There's no plans to slaughter her or anything. She can live with the cow, worst comes to worst, for her, the rest of her life. Oh my goodness. This chicken is still laying eggs in here. <laughs> Do any goats wanna come say hi? Bah. No, okay. They must have hay or something outside. So I never realized that my GoPro died. So I'm guessing it must have died. I was talking about uh, Tinkerbell. 
and <laughs> it died. So all I did was I watered and fed her and then I turned the hose off after she was done drinking her water. And then I turned this hose on, watered and fed Molly and then turned her hose off. So everything was done. But that is mainly the cattle plan for 2023 in a nutshell. And then, um, so I'll update you guys as we get more info on the calf we're gonna get and then the bull calf we're gonna get. So there'll be more info on that and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.